Hey guys, if any of you out there have recently upgraded to a really fancy TV, but were unhappy with the sound quality, you might be doing a bit of research into your own soundbar to really amp up your home theater performance. Well, today we're going to be discussing the Bose Solo 5, which is an ultra compact soundbar. We're going to be discussing some of the benefits and features to see if this might be the right solution for all of your home theater needs. And if you are interested in checking out the Bose Solo 5, I will throw a link to it down in the description below so you can check it out there if you're interested. And if I do happen to find any deals or discounts as well that might not be available on their website, I'll throw those down there for you as well. But jumping right into the review, if you've never heard of Bose, it is a US company and one of the largest speaker manufacturers for home use. One such speaker is the Bose Solo 5 soundbar. And basically the purpose of the soundbar is to offer higher quality sound than the speaker units built into a modern TV. Now in terms of size, sound bars can vary drastically, but the Bose Solo 5 is actually relatively small. It's 70 by 548 by 86 millimeters. Now you might be wondering if something so small can output good sound quality, and I'm here to tell you that it absolutely does. In terms of its look, the Bose Solo 5 soundbar has an oval shape with rounded edges and the Bose inscription in the middle. It's definitely a sleek, modern looking design. It also has two fantastic LED lights, which light up and change color to let the user know what the current Solo 5 sound mode is. And it also blinks to confirm the change in audio output volume. It's definitely a minimalist approach to a soundbar, which makes it very sleek and it will look excellent in any home theater setup. In terms of inputs, on the right, there is an optical digital input, a coaxial digital input, and a 3.5 millimeter analog input. The Solo 5 does come with all of the cables needed, so you don't have to purchase any extra cables or an external AV device. One downside here though, is it doesn't have any HDMI ports, which is a bit of a disappointment. There is also a USB port here, but it's only for service updates only, so you can't play songs from an external hard drive, for instance. But obviously there is Bluetooth wireless connectivity, so as long as your music player is Bluetooth capable, you shouldn't have any issues there. The Bose Solo 5 does also come with a remote control, and one really cool feature about this remote control is it does support over 1800 different third-party codes from all AV devices, which makes it possible to control almost any AV device. It also has as many as 54 different function keys, six of which have backlighting. This remote is truly capable of doing it all. Now, obviously, if you're here, the thing you want to hear about most is, of course, the sound quality. Well, the Bose Solo 5 has enough output power to easily fill rooms larger than 20 square meters with the sound. It has good mid-range reproduction, although the tweeter seems a bit hidden behind the rest of the spectrum. If you are somebody who enjoys good, beefy bass, then you'll be right at home here. The bass was excellent and strong. Honestly, you'll be surprised so much bass comes out of such a small device. And even at the higher output levels, the bass doesn't lose any control at all. Now we did notice the left and right ratio in stereo sound is a bit narrow, but obviously the speaker itself is very compact in dimensions, so that definitely makes sense. Also just to note, if you are interested in getting the full surround sound experience, then the Bose Solo 5 might not scratch that itch. It doesn't have any virtual sound mode, so the whole sound experience is shifted to the center of the front speaker itself. Basically, this soundbar's goal is to enhance the sound coming directly out of your TV, and it does that brilliantly. You'll find that dialogues are much cleaner, and the overall sound presentation will just have a much higher quality. It also has a much more dynamic and vocal sound quality, which certainly contributes to a smoother, more natural experience of the overall sound quality. Now, I have to say that soundbars in this price range are not nearly so crisp and clear as the Bose Solo 5. Speech is easy to understand, and the speakers have a ton of kick. You can even activate a dialogue mode for highlighting voices using the remote control. As I mentioned, it does have fantastic bass. One thing we did notice, however, is that when things do get really loud, there is a limiter that shifts down several levels quickly, but audibly. So that's something that you might notice, but it really didn't mar the experience very much for us. Also do note that you cannot add a subwoofer to the Bose Solo 5. It doesn't have a connection for a sub and no wireless transmitters for wireless sub options. Now I will say this is a great option for those of you who just want something that's easy to use and sounds great. It was designed to be as much of a plug and play soundbar as possible. It's small so it won't be cumbersome in your home theater setup and operating it in general is just very easy and won't take a ton of your time. So guys, if you're just looking for a soundbar that has a well-built design, decent sound on stereo content, especially for its size, good bass, and a great universal remote, then definitely check out the Bose Solo 5 review. I think it's going to be a great addition to your home theater setup. So guys, hopefully this review was helpful for you if you are interested in getting into the world of soundbars. And as I mentioned, if you are interested in checking out the Bose Solo 5 a little bit further, I'll throw a link down below so you can check it out there. 
and if I do find any deals or discounts for it, I will put that down in the description for you as well. Otherwise, I hope this video was helpful for you. If so, please feel free to give me a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. And if you do have any questions or comments, please put them down below as I love getting to answer as many of those as possible. Otherwise, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Stay safe out there and I will see you in the next video.